Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my week one update on 21 day fix and how I've been doing on my first week on this. If you want to see more of my daily life while doing this, link below to my daily channel where I kind of show you how I manage to get my workout in every day with two kids or how I how I go around being able to work out some days and might not other days but if you want to see more on that my daily channel is below but here is my week one update so this week I lost four pounds and normally when you first start one of these things you kind of lose a lot in the first week because you're changing your eating habits tremendously um as for me i was changing my eating habits horrendously i went from not working out for a long time to working out um I'll, you lose a lot of water weight so the first week um most of the time you see a good amount loss so i lost four pounds this week and i can feel it i just feel a little bit more energized even though i'm starting to get a little sick so i'm feeling like a little tired and stuff but in the start of the week i was feeling a little bit more upbeat and energized and you know ready to like full force into this so a little bit of how it works if you don't know and um it's here's the calendar so here's the week one calendar or yeah like week, yeah week one calendar and there's like a doubles option on the bottom so it's like total body cardio fix which was monday the first day and i was feeling very sore after that going up and down my stairs was horrible and i seemed to have forget forgotten everything that day upstairs and needed to go upstairs all the time and i would feel it everywhere and that is a good thing when you start feeling it afterwards that soreness that that's good that means it's working so every time i felt it even though it was painful i put a smile on my face because it was like i i'm feeling it I'm, I'm what i did is working it's doing something and i feel it so that was day one the total body cardio fix upper fix was okay um phoenix was kind of helping me out with that one and and jumping on my back if i was on the floor and you know like I, my weights are not that um high i think i have five pound weights or two and five pound weights so they're not like super heavy but it still feel it in your arms I want to get more weights or sometimes when it's a workout of you have to only use one weight in one hand i'll have both my weights so this way it's more and also there's a modifier um i found that in the beginning of the week i i didn't need to use the modifier as much as i thought i would for starting to work out again after so long um, but um, towards the end I did see that I started using her more and more and my strategy always is to start off doing it the way um, she does it right now I can't think of her name but doing it the way she does it and then if I need to halfway through go to the modifier that's always my strategy to kind of start off with her at least and when I see that it's just too much for me I turn to the modifier um but some days i did the modifier from the beginning on certain moves that i knew i just wasn't going to be able to really do to the full effect so i just did with the modifier which still gets your heart rate up gets your heart rate up gets you pumping and gets your body moving and that going from doing absolutely nothing to doing something is it makes a difference so this this is pretty good then wednesday was lower fix thursday was pilates fix and friday was cardio fix and those three were good like i said i had to modify a little more when i got to those three because it just my body was aching from the days before i was also starting to get some sickness my everybody in my house is sick so my throat was starting to hurt a bit so i was kind of slowing down in that aspect so i chose to use the modifier more but it didn't let it discourage me to the point where i just didn't work out um saturday i did not work out i did choose that was yesterday i did choose a nap over working out because i just felt really really tired and sick both kids napped easily together at the same time and it had been a rough week so i decided to take a nap my intentions were to work out later at night but we got home a lot later and life happens so i decided that i was going to do a double today to make up for it 
and it's okay because today was a yoga fix sunday was yoga fix so it's kind of a more slow paced um i guess it's kind of like a rest day type of thing it takes your body resting so it was good and i just did both of them however yoga fix i realized that i need to do when the kids are napping because it's a lot of on the floor and you know yoga and um phoenix just was kind of all over me and it wasn't very relaxing having them there so since sundays my husband is home i am going to try my best to do my saturday Saturday workouts on Saturday so that Sunday I can do yoga fix kind of when the, down, up, either upstairs or just away from the kids and kind of really relax in it so I see what didn't work this week and I'm changing it up for next week so that's that's what you have to do it's hard to find time to work out with two kids I remember trying to find time when I had just Phoenix and um, I had to just either occupy him give him something to do just try to find a way and now phoenix kind of enjoys seeing the workout with me he enjoys seeing the numbers on the screen counting down he enjoys jumping on me which in some cases just adds a little bit more but um so i do it with him awake avery is still small so if she's napping or she's in her exercise or she's fine for right now um but now i know that certain workouts are just better when they're sleeping um <clears throat> yoga fix like i said wasn't my favorite but i feel like i just i still need to give it another chance um i i wasn't a big fan of yoga but it does seem very relaxing and just kind of what you need from the end of this week of workouts so i want to give it another chance to really do it to its full potential to say if i like it or not so eating wise it was not crazy hard to stick to the eating um while i was home um also my coach she is amazing hi karen if you're watching um she has she's just motivated me every day she sent a, a, either a quick message either directly to me or on the facebook page and just kind of was like a little pep talk and having everybody on the facebook page was definitely a huge help because we just motivate each other if it was from hey i just did my workout and it killed me or to this is what i ate for today for a snack and you might not think oh you I, you didn't think of doing that combination or of eating things that way or if that was 21 day approved so it's a, a huge motivation and help to actually have a support system and um, somebody who has is either going through it with you who went through it already or or just anybody who is going to push you a few times i had to cook something else for my husband or cook what i was eating in a different way and that was a little hard um i found myself like having a small bite of something that he was you know that i was making for him and just feeling satisfied with that um i went from a certain way of eating to a totally different way of eating you know overnight literally so it's okay because either way i'm I'm doing something different. I'm in the right direction. So that's what I tell myself. I'm not going to be perfect. I probably had a few more walnuts than the book said. Or why do I always say walnuts? I meant cashews. <laughs> a few more cashews than the book says. Or a few more sunflower seeds. Or a few more um, of anything. You no, know, a little tiny bit more rice or something. But it's still less and better than what I was having just the day before. The yesterday, for example, and this is like a real life situation, um, we went to Target and my husband's like, oh, I'm going to go get this. I don't know. It wasn't coffee. He was getting some vanilla thing. And he said, do you want anything? And I normally I don't drink coffee and I normally don't really get anything, but it was freezing outside. So I said, oh, give me a hot chocolate with some whipped cream. And then he gave it to me, walked around and drank it. I, I took a picture and I was about to post it and I was like, oh my goodness, this is not 21 day approved. I cannot have this. Like, I wasn't even thinking because it's still so new to me. And I, today, I think it was today, I told my coach and I said, look what happened or whatever. And she's like, that's okay. If this is going to be your lifestyle, you are entitled to a treat. You know, you're not going to be like measuring everything out and everything be perfect every single day every single meal but it's about doing something to better yourself one meal at a time you know one step at a time and you know make up for it but you deserve a treat you, you can have a treat i mean it's normal so it was just funny because i want it to be to a point where my mind is you know in that full gear of 
always thinking like that but sometimes you don't realize that your drinks are calories too and that's another thing i shakeology i was not counting it for it with my containers for the beginning of the week like i just thought oh well it's shakeology it's breakfast like it's one of their things you know but you have to also account for that through your containers talking about containers the app 21 day fix i will insert a picture so you guys can see like what it looks like because i'm recording on my phone so i can't show you guys but this app is amazing and i didn't have it at the beginning of the week i just got it i think it was two days ago or three and it's amazing one you can customize it and Just make sure you're getting the right containers that you need. Like it'll tell you put in your weight and it tells you how many how many red, how many green, how many purple. But mine was a bit off from the book, so I just went towards for the book. But I customized it, and then um, you go into like I'll click on red and it'll tell me the list of foods that are red and are 21 day approved. So this is awesome for not only when you're home and you're prepping your meals, but when you're out because it's like, oh, I can't remember what's this one, what's that one or something like that. If you're trying to kind of figure out what you're eating, you can just go into the app and all the information is there, which I think is amazing and made it so much easier. And then I just clicked like, you know, I had one red already and then it told me I had four left. So, you know, in the beginning of the week, I was kind of writing it on a post-it, kind of keeping track of things. And I always had to go back to the book and this and that. And it was just, it became a little overwhelming. But who's not always on their phone? I'm always on my phone. I always have my phone in my hand or somewhere hidden from Phoenix. And you can just always quickly check or be like, I just had a, a green and here you go check off the green and now I have three left or whatever it is so definitely if you are doing the 21 day fix definitely definitely get the app the app is amazing I, I might consider doing a full review on the app because it's just such an easy way to keep track of things it's kind of like when you're counting your calories more or less kind of the same thing but since the 21 day fix you're doing the whole container system it's it's all right there, everything you need. So that being said, guys, if you have any questions or comments, anything you want me to include on next week's update or anything you, you're curious about with the program, let me know. The link is also down below where you can purchase any Beachbody program um, through my coach. She is amazing. She is like such a great support system. She posts like daily quotes and pictures and all these different things that just keep you motivated to keep on going and even when you know i'm not doing the when the 21 days are over and i decide to continue this um i know that she'll be there because she's a friend and she's going to help me motivate you and just even looking at things that she posts even if i don't speak to her every day just looking at things that she posts that she was doing it makes you be like you know what i can do it and i have two kids and honestly <laughs> I thought it was impossible. The week leading up to me starting 21 Day Fix, I would mentally think, okay, now is when I would work out, you know? And there was like four days where it was like, I don't know when I'm gonna work out. And I remember even telling my coach that, I'm like, I feel so discouraged. I don't know if I can do this because this week I just would not have had a chance to work out. But when you really want something and you start seeing changes and your body starts feeling good, you realize that there is time you just have to make it and the days might be a little hectic or hectic -er? i don't think that's a word more hectic <laughs> but you manage and you figure out a way right now both kids are napping while phoenix is still rolling around but i already got my workout in for today because john stood with the kids downstairs for one of my workouts and then i just included them in my next one and um it might not always be that easy but you can find time you might think that you don't have time because you have one kid or two kids or three kids but i i even know somebody else who has three kids and she does it and even if it's after they go to sleep if you want something if you want to see a change don't make excuses do it do it now and and because tomorrow is already a day later so if you have any questions or comments if you want to see like i said my daily input i talk about it in my vlogs often 
um, my link to my vlog channel is down below I also have the link to the where you can buy your 21 day fix or any other beach body challenge um, packs so you can get started and I've also did t25 so if you have any if you're doing that or you have any questions about that you can also leave those below I also have all those videos from those updates that I did when um, about that was like two years ago or no a year ago um, so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you next week for week two update hopefully i have some more weight loss because that always is a good thing to report and um let me know what you guys want to see if you want to see a little bit more in this video next week's video of what i'm doing let me know so thank you guys for watching subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you next week bye guys